Hey everybody, it's Taylor of Orlando Informer and it's a very special day. We are trying all six crepes from Central Park Crepe. We could hardly wait, so we've already gotten started. I have Michaela with us um, who is trying the first one with strawberries and hazelnut. All right, first we've dug into the strawberry hazelnut crepe. It has Nutella, Nutella mascarpone, strawberries, and fresh powdered sugar. If you're a fan of Nutella, which I am, like I love the chocolate strawberry combination, this one's really good. So for our first sweet crepe, I give it my stamp of approval. Okay, so this is another one of the sweet uh, crepes. This one's the lemon blueberry. Of course, you see the fresh blueberry. You've got some whipped cream, uh, lemon mascarpone, um, lemon pound cake, and powdered sugar. Uh, so I'm. this is one of the ones I'm most looking forward to. So uh, I am gonna just go ahead and dig in. I don't really also know how to, well, I'm gonna start with just this blueberry. I'm gonna do a blueberry check. Oh no, oh. Blueberry's good, it's very fresh. Okay. I don't know how to, we're just gonna try our best. It's all you can really ask for in life, you know? Like you can do, burrito? you could do like a, you could do like a cut here. You could be like seven years later. Or you just let it run. Okay, here we go. Almost said an explicit open. Okay, here we go. Mm. That's actually really good. Okay, so this one's really good. Uh, you've got like the lemon pound cake inside, which is very, very tasty. I'm personally not a huge whipped cream fan, but it's not overpowering here. And the fresh blueberries are very refreshing. So it's a super hot day today. Uh, we waited a pretty good amount of time in the sun. Um, so this one's very refreshing. I'm enjoying it a lot. So it's a little messy because I've been enjoying it, but breaking news, there's actually blueberries inside of it as well. So there was only a few blueberries on top. That was maybe a disappointment, but now I've found many a blueberries within. So very happy with this one. We're trying our last sweet crepe. It is the cookies and cream, which includes Oreo cookie crumbles, Oreo mascarpone, whipped cream, chocolate ganache, and powdered sugar. Cookies and cream is always a fan favorite for any sweets. So in crepe form, why not? Let's try it out. Oh man, this is super chocolatey. Like if you're into like chocolate cakes, really rich desserts, this is the one for you. The strawberry one had a little bit of the chocolate with Nutella, but this is just chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Another messy one, but delicious. Okay, we are moving on to savory crepes. This one is the smoked brisket. So it's got smoked brisket as the name implies, pepper jack cheese, uh, coleslaw and golden ranch barbecue. It smells very good. Um, really, most of these smell really good, but this one particularly. So, just gonna go ahead and give it a bite now and see how it is. I'm gonna, I, this might be illegal in the crepe world. I'm not very familiar, but I think I might flip it and then eat the bottom. Um, Cause I can. Innovation. The meat is really, really tasty. I really like it. <laughs> Do you have said anything else? Like, I thought you were like, the meat's tasty, the sauce is really good, and you're like, the meat's tasty? Okay, so what I will say about this one is it's pretty heavy on the coleslaw. So, if coleslaw isn't what you think about when you wake up, um, you might want to skip this one. Or order it without the coleslaw. That's what I, I would probably order this again just without the coleslaw. If you like coleslaw, I think this is great. I'm just jumping in to say that this is really good. Which one is it, Trevor? No, I have to go bite. It's the brisket. All right, I'm about to try the vegan sausage crepe. If you guys have watched our videos, you know that I'm vegetarian. So I was super excited to see that there's a savory option that fits my needs. Uh, it has vegan mozzarella, gardein sausage, vegan pesto, diced tomatoes, and a balsamic glaze. So this is right up my alley, like some Italian food vibes. And I'm gonna take a page out of Taylor's book and try a bite from the bottom, cause wow. I know. Not so easy, is it? It's not so easy. It looks easy you make on everything look so on easy. On camera, it's just... oh. I like this a lot. So I'm not typically one for like the fake or um, substitute meats, or I strongly prefer real regular cheese over vegan cheese, but given the fact that this is all vegan, I mean, I probably wouldn't have even noticed. Like it tastes like a normal, um, what, non-vegetarian, non-vegan menu item, 
the balsamic glaze is awesome. The tomatoes are good. You can really taste the pesto and I love that. So this is great. I'm really pleased with the vegan option that they have on the savory side. I would definitely recommend it for lunch. All good things must come to an end. Uh, just like this crepe shoot where we tried all crepes. This is the final one. This is the sixth crepe. Uh, this one is a chicken and goat cheese. Um, so grilled chicken, mushrooms, pesto, arugula, and goat cheese, of course. Uh, so I'm going to continue the trend. I'm just going to give it a quick little flip. I'm sure it'll be super easy and nothing will fall out. Beautiful. Game time. So out of the crepes I've tried today, this one has the most uh, subdued like taste profile. Um, it, it, I think the other ones were pretty impactful, and this one is a little more subdued. So if you're thinking about like a chiller day at the park, um, you don't want your taste buds to go crazy. Um, this one's pretty okay, um, not my favorite. All right, Taylor, how would you rank the crepes you tried today? Great question, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a tough one, but I've thought about it a lot. Um, so I've tried three today, uh, and I would put the lemon blueberry at number one. That's the one I ate the most of. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd get that again in a heartbeat. Really, really good. Coming in hot at number two, literally, uh, is the uh, brisket. The brisket was really good as well. Savorful. Everything I said earlier. Savorful? Is that a word? Savory, yeah. Savory and flavorful. We'll keep going. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Uh, and then number three is the one I just tried last, the chicken and goat cheese. Mm. Uh, yeah, the other two would definitely come back and get again. Um, like I said, the the brisket one, strong on the slaw. You have to be a real, you have to go hard on the slaw, but uh, if you do. Then... Yeah, I would say I, at, from a third party perspective, I would agree with your rankings. The lemon and blueberry looked the most appealing, and then the brisket, even as a vegetarian, that definitely by far smelled the best out of all of them. Ask me so, what I think. <laughs> so I guess now is the part of the video where I ask you what your top three are. Yeah. Out of the three you have. I'm going to start at number three to let the suspense build a little bit. Um, this, Show me up. Yeah. The strawberry hazelnut um, did not have a great presentation, but the combination of flavors was good. Just nothing out of this world. I would put the cookies and cream at number two just because it was really intensely chocolatey and I think dessert lovers will love it and it had a really impactful flavor. And then number one, hands down, um, would be, what is it, the vegan sausage? Is that what it was? Vegan sausage and the pesto situation. It was delicious regardless of whether you're a vegan or vegetarian or not. It was super flavorful, great combination, savorful as Taylor might say. Um, but for, what is it, $7.99? I would definitely grab that for lunch or a snack in the parks. Yeah, we didn't mention it, but it's $6.99 and $7.99, depending on the crepe. Uh, they are part of the dining plan, but it counts as a entree, not a snack. Not a snack, and if you're an annual pass holder, that discount applies as well. Great, now's the part where we high-five and end the video. <laughs> <laughs>